a little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rentals. He wants no money from you, no bait and switch, nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. All right. Today, unfortunately, is May 18, 2022. And the reason I said, unfortunately, the stock market straight up crashed today. Oh, almost 1,200 points. And, uh... I'm going to make this video because I'm transparent, but I'm losing a lot of money. And I'm going to say this. Everybody today lost money. I don't care who you are. Warren Buffett lost money. Uh, Jeff Bezo, he lost money. Everybody, everybody lost today. I'm trying to feel better, but I don't because I lost a lot. And I'm about to log in and show you guys. We're going to go in and we're going to see what this Roth IRA didn't do today. So let's get in here and get it over with. It is secret code time. Close your eyes. I wish I can close my eyes and not look at all these numbers because all you will see is red, red, red. And I was selling my butt off today. But uh, I'm going to say this, and you're probably going to say, what? He ain't doing it. Well, nobody's doing it. But I am really here to put money in your pockets. And if you're a long-term investor, I will do it. Short-term day traders, don't know nothing about that. Uh, I do know you're going to have to be glued to your computer all day, every day, if you're a day trader. And I think that's kind of boring. And very, very risky. But I do have a favor to ask. Do you know if you hit the subscribe, like, and share button on this video right now, like click, click, click right now, it helps me to keep helping you. Everything I do is for free, and it's free and easy for you to hit those buttons right now. So let's do some clicking. We are going into this Roth IRA. A bloodbath. Look at that. Straight red, straight terrible. But let's talk about the one good thing I can talk about today. And that's dividends. So let's check it out. We're going to activity and orders. And we're going to do a time period of two weeks because we're doing a two week update. And we're going to sort for dividends. All right, this is the best part of the video right now because this is the only thing positive I have to talk about. I got some dividends. First dividend is MasterCard, 1666. And the next dividend is Blackstone Incorporated. $294.84, grand total $311.50. I am so, so happy to get these dividends. You just don't know. That's the only thing positive that happened to me in the last two weeks. The good thing about dividends and what I love, if the stock price goes down, that dividend is still there, you get it. That's the beautiful thing because all these stocks, the Blackstone and the MasterCard, they went down today, but I still got my dividends. Always consider good companies that pay dividends. You won't regret it, especially if the stock market is crashing. So let's go up here to the top and we want to talk about what stocks I bought. So even though the stock market is crashing, I have been buying stocks, so I'm losing and buying at the same time. And that's something that's really hard to do. Most people can't do it. When you're losing a lot of money, your first instinct is to just get out. You know, like, oh, I made a profit with this stock, cash it out. Or I'm really losing with this one. Let me say what I, what I have. So let's talk about the stocks that I bought. 
I bought one share of AutoZone, and the reason I bought one share only, look at the price. It's over $1,800 per share, so that one share was enough for me. The next stock that I bought is Berkshire. I bought this stock on two different days, and the reason I did that is I like to buy on a dip. So on the 6th and the 9th, it was a nice dip, and I decided to buy a couple of shares. And uh, if I didn't mention, AutoZone already owned that stock, so this is an add to the portfolio, and the same with Berkshire. Uh, let's open this up and see how many shares I bought. Uh, eight shares, and I believe this is another eight shares. Let's see. Another eight shares. I also bought NVIDIA. This is an add to the portfolio. I bought 14 shares of this at a little over $181 per share. I bought a brand new stock. Now this is brand new to the portfolio. It's called Old Dominion Freight Line. Let's open this up. I actually bought this today. It was down almost 12% and everything, like I said, in the market was down. But I bought eight shares and I paid almost $1,900 for the eight shares. And I have their website up. So let me tell you why I bought Old Dominion Freight Line. Uh, what this is, this is a trucking company and I bought this stock because it has good revenue and earnings. Revenue means it's bringing in the money. Earnings are profit. The type of investor that would invest in this company is a moderate investor. I'm here at the website. Let's do some clicking, but this is a real simple company. It's just a trucking company. If you pay attention, the next time you're on the highway, you will probably see Old Dominion trucks pass you by, or if you're speeding, you might be passing them by. But let's click here, the services, what they do. They do domestic, expedited uh, tools. You can get the rates. You can do pickup, transit times. You can track everything that you're doing if you decide to ship using Old Dominion. Um, I'm hoping that this is a good stock for me. Again, the market crashed today. I decided to uh, get this stock. This stock has been on my watch list for a while and I decided to pounce today. Let's go back to Fidelity and I bought one more stock and this is Tesla. And this is uh, something I already have in the portfolio. So this is an ad and I bought it twice on the same day. And the reason I did that is it was dipping on the ninth and I bought some and then I came back and I looked a couple of hours later and it dipped even more. And I like Tesla. I've been making money with it. I think it's a good uh, ran company. And it is the number one company when it comes to electric cars in the United States. So I grabbed a couple of more when the price dipped even more. All right. So now let's talk about what I sold. And I sold a lot of stocks. I'm just going to go down the uh, list and I'm going to tell you um, what I sold and if I sold all my shares. So big lots. I sold about half of my shares. I sold Chipotle, and this is one of the few stocks that I actually sold at a profit. I was not losing when I sold this stock. Corsair, this is a big loser for me. I sold this stock. Doximity, I sold this stock, and I sold all my shares. Etsy, Sold. Fix. Sold everything. General Electric. Sold. General Motors. Sold. Logitech. Sold. Netgear. Sold. NIO. Stock ticker NIO. Sold everything. Completely cash out. 
Quantum Scape, stock ticker QS, sold everything. Roblox sold everything. Roku sold everything. C Limited sold everything. All shares gone. Spotify, everything out of here. I sold it. Unity Software, all gone. Sold every share. Upland Software, sold everything. Upstart Holdings, all gone. Upwork Incorporated, got rid of everything. So about half of the stocks that were sold, I got a completely. And let me tell you, let's go back up here to Roku. Because I got to be transparent. Man, Roku kicked my ass. And I really like the company. And I'm pretty sure I will go back and invest in it. Um, I like their financials and I actually like the channel, uh, but I was down almost 80%. I lost over $5,800 and I was just looking at it and looking at it and I sold way too late. So I learned the hard way. Don't sit around waiting on a stock to see if it's going to rebound once it gets past your magic number. And trust me, my magic number was not 80%. Wait to then to sell. I just, yeah, I just messed up. I really messed up on Roku. Lost a lot of money for it. And when you lose that kind of money, you don't forget. And that lesson sticks in your head. All right. Um, yeah. Let's keep it moving. We're going back to the top and we're going to talk about where I am now to where I was two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I really don't want to do it. So we're going to positions and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and see where we are. All right, right now, today, I have $268,682.79. And we're going to compare this to two weeks ago. So we're going to stocks and rentals, and we're going to find a last Roth IRA update. And it was on May 4th. I had $299,191.70. Man, if I still had that much money, I would be loving it. But going back to today, the difference is, man, whew, in two weeks, I lost $30,508.90. That is over $15,000 a week. And today really killed me with the stock market. That's a whole bunch of money to lose, but I am living in reality. Uh, the market happens to uh, do this from time to time. I don't know if I'm going to say uh, by December 31st, this was uh, a super bad year. Maybe it's going to get better the second half of the year. We have to wait and see. But so far, 2022 is kicking my ass. Uh, how much did I lose today? Almost $10,000 just today, $9,971.93. Uh, man, keep it moving. Don't have anything else to say about that one. Uh, let's talk about my best performing and least performing stock of the day. There is no best performing stock of the day. Everything is messed up. I'm actually going to do a slow scroll. And all I want you to pay attention to right now is today's gain or loss. I'm still going to do my normal slow scroll to show you and everything I have in my portfolio and break it down and tell you what you're looking at. But right now, let's just look at this. Today's gain or loss. And um, I'm going to actually speed up the video. But just look right here. This column, no green. Did you see any green? 
No, that meant every stock that I have was terrible today. Everything lost, all losers. All right, first time in my life that I didn't tell you guys my best performing stock. But since I'm here, out of all the losers, the worst performing stock is right here. Big locks, stock ticker BIG. I was down almost 12%. And luckily I don't have that many shares. Uh, I lost $28.67 today. All right, let's go up here. And we're gonna talk about all the stocks now. I'm gonna do my famous slow scroll. Let me tell you guys what you're looking at. Over here to the left, it says symbol. These are all the company stocks that I own. Last price, this is the price that the stock market closed at today of each stock that I own. Today's loss, there were no gains. So today's loss are all right here. Total gain or loss. This is how much money I've gained or lost since I've owned the stocks. Current value, this is how much money I have in each of the stocks that I own. Quantity number of shares of each stock cost basis you can kind of look at this as the average price per share of stock for each company it's not quite that but this is a beginner's website so just you know roll with cost basis means that's the average price per share of the stock that you bought for each company all right i suggest you pay attention now to the symbol, all the stock tickers, all the companies I own, and this column right here, total gain or loss. This column, you will see green and you will see more green than red. And I'm gonna prove to you at the bottom of this page, if you're a long-term investor, you will win. Even today with the crazy market, you will win. So let's scroll. Remember, this is a video. You will see more green than red. Remember, I do not know about every stock in the stock market. There are a lot of stocks that are not doing as well as what you see. And there are a lot of stocks that's doing a lot better. It is your money. I am here to show you how to get going in investing and show you how to determine what you want to buy. So again, this is how the stock market works. Here's the good thing that I can tell you. Ever since I had this account open, I am up 18% with a profit of over $32,000. This is something that you guys can do only if you wanna be a long-term investor like me. I started with $1, you would start with $1 and you can get paid how to do it i'm going to leave a link in the description down below and it's going to take you to stocks and rentals and i'm going to show you right where it's going to take you so we're going to stocks and rentals and the link will take you right here new to stock investing start here and there are eight easy steps and let me break down the steps let you know what you're about to get yourself into so you can learn how to get paid and make a lot of money. You saw my portfolio of over $265,000. This is definitely something that you guys can do. Step number one, I have a stock FAQ. If you have any questions about stocks, I answer them right here. Click right here and you can educate yourself about stocks in general. Step number two, I break down a different type of investors. Before you invest, you have to know what type of investor you are. And there are three types of investors. And I discuss them right here. Once you determine what type of investor you are, you will know what to buy and what to stay away from. Step number three, I have stock terms. When you click here, there are simple terms and it's not that many. And I want to tell you guys, all the terms that are right here, these are all the terms that I knew of 
when I started investing in and that allowed me to make over $265,000. Step number four, how do you figure out which stocks to buy? Click right here, I have a short video. I break it all down. I show you where to go, what to read to find out which stocks you might wanna buy. Step number five, I show you how to open up a brokerage account. You have to open up an account like what I show you in my videos before you start trading. Step number six and step number seven, how to buy a stock, how to sell a stock. Step number eight, this is all about reading. I have an area called stock and 401k talk, and I also have an area called portfolio tracking, and you can find both of these areas right here under the menu, here and here, and it shows you the history of what I've been doing in terms of investing. And if you track it, that is proof. If you are a long-term investor, meaning for years, you will win. Let's go up to the top because I'm about to close this video out and go get me some aspirins because today was a rough day. I invest in stocks. I invest in rentals. Why would I try to get money from you? That makes no sense. I'm showing you, I make my money in the stock market. I make my money in rentals. Anybody trying to pull an okie doke on you, uh, telling you that they are an expert in the stock market, but then they're trying to tell you, hey, pay me so you can take a class or pay me to come and talk to you or you know, click on this link and we can do a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I got everything right here, stocks and rental. Everything is 100% free. Don't fall for it. I got your back. I am Raymond. I am out. I'm about to take some aspirin. Peace. Come on, push the button. Yeah, come on, push the button up. Push the goddamn button. Push the